Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we bring our Pilates brain and body into the real world. Today we're talking about vibrating the tissue before you go into release work. Now a lot of times we're using balls like these to do our traditional release work, and it can create a lot of tension. So before you go into that, before you're releasing the foot with your tennis ball or your hip or your shoulder blade, I have a few tips that could help you to kind of ease yourself into it. So where do we want to start? Okay, so this is a really nice option. This is um, just a, a air-filled cushion, and it's really nice to have a seat on it and do a little bit of um, shaking out the tissue, right? And so this is talking to the pelvic floor in a really nice way and the tissue around my sitting bones and I'm just letting my arms hang, letting my jaw hang, just up and down. I can also go side to side here, getting some movement in the pelvis. I can also circle a bit kind of loosening up around my joints, around my lumbar spine, and all those intrinsic joints in my pelvis. And all of this will really help to prepare me, especially for any release work that I want to do with a ball on my pelvic floor. So the overball, or even something more extreme like the Mikasa ball. So let's look at it. So after I've done that, then my tissue is kind of prepared for the release work. So I can take the overball or the Mikasa ball or the smart spine globe and have a seat on it, right? And this is pretty intense to sit on the ball and to release my pelvic floor, but it's a lot better when I prepare it with something like that. Yeah. Good. So another example that you can do that you don't even need a piece of equipment for is shaking out the bones um, supine with your feet on the wall. So we do this at the studio all the time, but it's a great thing to do at home because everyone has a wall, right? So you can get onto your back. So all you need is a wall. So on your back, just hanging your feet on the wall here, finding the back of your head, your mid-back, and your pelvis, and then just doing this little tiny shake of your bones. So you want to feel the vibration of the femur heads and the pelvis into the spine, into the cervical spine, letting the head go and the jaw go. It's like you're just shaking out all of the sand in your joints onto the floor. And so after that, this is brilliant. You bring your feet down to the floor. Maybe grab your little chihuahua ball. Bring it underneath your shoulder, right? So you've kind of prepared and marinated the tissue. Sometimes I'll do that and even bring my feet back up onto the wall and do that little, this, this feels so good, do that little bit of a shake with that little chihuahua ball under my shoulder. And that gives me just a brilliant flossing in that area. Really, really nice. Okay, another thing that we can do to kind of get the whole body in a functional standing position, kind of relaxed and open, is using the BOSU. And I know it's kind of crazy to think about having a BOSU in your house, but I think a lot of people do, and there's lots of stuff that you can do with it at home, and it's easy to store. So you, for this, you want something to hold on to. So a countertop or the wall, and you can have your feet in a parallel position, right? And this is better if you have both hands supported. But here again, just like we did when I was on my back, you wanna to try to relax the skeleton. So I'm thinking about having really wide open feet here, kind of squishy ankles, squishy knees, squishy hip sockets, and shaking the sand out of my joints again onto the floor. Just relaxing and preparing. And from here, I could go into all sorts of release work, especially on my feet, right? But something else that I could also do before that 
is taking this cool little, you know, thing that you can get at the drugstore, this little vibration massage tool, and I use this all over the body, um, but especially for the bottom of the feet, especially if you just get home and you've been wearing your shoes all day and your feet feel really, really rigid, doing the BOSU, shaking out, because that BOSU will really help to relax the bottom of the feet, and then getting this guy and going to all those points on your feet um, that feel rigid and maybe holding it in, a, in the exact spot that you know is rigid. So for me, I'm feeling a lot here in my inner arch. So doing a little bit of that and then getting the, the tennis ball or what have you. Because now my foot is a little bit more prepared, right? I've marinated the tissue a little bit. So now it's much more responsive and supple to the tennis ball, and I'm going to get such a, a better release for my foot. And it's really, really important to have all of these tools when you come home from work or you come home from hiking and you're just hanging out at your house. You want to have kind of your, your arsenal here of stuff that, that, can, that you can take care of yourself with. All right, so the other thing that I want to introduce, this is my last little item, are, we call these the bongers. I'm not sure if that's the right word. Oh, body sticks. I really love these. We use these in the studio a lot, and I have a pair at home. And I'm going to have my daughter, my beautiful, she's almost 14 years old. This is Marcella. Good. And Chell Bell, you'll just turn around. And so you can use these on your own. Right, but it's, an, it's not as fun to use them on your own. So if you have your daughter or your son or your partner help you with this. So especially here in the upper traps is really nice. And then I'm gonna, you know, ask Marcella to relax her jaw, relax her arms, relax the breastbone. Does that feel like a pretty good tension? Yeah. And so this is going to prepare her tissue in the upper traps and in her rhomboids for any release work that she might be doing after this. Yep. These are also really nice to use here on the outer arm, the deltoid here, and back into the tricep to release. And that can prepare it for some good release work with the balls. You can also use this gently at the lower back on the kidney area, right, and the glutes, and then on the side of the leg, on the IT band. So maybe you're going to get the roller and roll out your IT band. This is a great way to prepare before you get on that roller. All right, so you're just talking to the tissue and the bones, just making it really, really supple. All right. Feel good, Chell? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below or on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. How do I look? Should we get